What's going on, brothers? Just let me tell you my name. Got another video for you. As you're entitled, don't call me Alpha. Part 3. Here goes. So it's been a while since I put one of these out. I think it's been at least uh, about two years. So you probably all saw the footage of that uh, uh, Fresh and Fraud video of that one uh, character with the, uh, the tattoos, the uh, sweater beard. He's sporting all white and he's cursing out a man who is pretty much seen as vanilla, you know, plain. And this individual, apparently he was a convict. A person who a couple of folks refer to as alpha male. And after seeing what he pulled on that podcast, I got to say it like this. Me, myself, I never call myself an alpha male because an alpha male is pretty much the loudest, dumbest motherfucker in the room. The person who is usually the scapegoat when shit goes south. The individuals today who call themselves alpha or alpha male they're posers. How many of them actually had fathers in their life? How many of them got their masculinity, had their masculinity sculpted and shaped by their fathers? You see, it's all a grift. Even though my father was present in my life and my paternal grandfather was present in my life and they helped to sculpt and shape my masculinity. I don't call myself alpha because I'm more of a sigma than anything. I stay in the shadows and watch these goofy motherfuckers make clowns of themselves. You see, their masculinity comes from a magazine it comes from a syringe, a pill bottle. It's, it's fake. It's bullshit. The persona's fake. The way they talk is fake. Everything is fake, man. Just <laughs> And this incident with that convict, I think he calls, he calls himself Wes. It's proof possible of that. So in order to be alpha, you gotta go to prison you have to wear a costume, uh, talk like a poor man's Greg Valentino. No, 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 let me explain something to you. You as a man, you get to decide for yourself what's masculine and what's not. Not these candy ass maggots, not these posers, not these feminists, not these walking trash cans, not these science projects with sherbet ice cream colored hair. It's not their job, and it's not their place to tell you what's masculine and what's alpha and what's not. You have to decide it for yourself. And that's what I've done. My father has a athletic and blue-collar background. He played football and baseball. My grandfather has a blue-collar background. He worked in the auto industry. And <laughs> around town, he was known as being a tough, tough SOB. But yeah, today, today's different. The self-proclaimed alphas are just posers. They're clowns. They're grifting. You're not gonna learn anything from these idiots. Nothing. What you perceive as alpha, what you perceive as masculine has to come from you. Has to come from you, brothers. It can't come from them. Take heed.
Mm hmm. Take heed. It's not a big tale. So I got for you. Like the best, screen in the comments here. Feel to subscribe. If you're not doing it, visit my channel. If you found tip jar on the right inside the screen, that's your bush icon. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know the drill. You know the routine. Going with the boy. Let's watch BM. That's for these posers, these candy ass maggots, and these walking trash cans who try to lecture you and tell you what's masculine and what's alpha. Give them nothing. This is me, Tal PSA. Welcome to State. See you soon.